Aquarius, looking for a camera, or the name Cam, or Cameron, or Camomile, Mel, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine. <sighs> looking for a camera work. I'm looking for a modeling contract, or I'm looking for a camera, or I'm always in front of the camera. You might do this for a living, you might be a tarot card reader or something like that, but I'm always in front of the camera, or I'm looking for a brand new camera. So you might be going shopping somewhere, basically looking for a camera or you're always taking photographs or something like that and I'm taking multiple energies of <laughs> multiple photographs and I'm going through like I don't know is it a beauty pageant or something like that I don't know but someone that takes a lot of photographs of themselves or TikTok or Twitter or whatever y'all call it um, and I'm constantly on the camera all of the time Cameron Cameron uh, some of you are possibly with a child all of the time and you've got kids and I'm with my children all of the time and they're on TikTok and all of this sort of stuff constantly on TikTok, constantly on TikTok, TikTok, TikTok or you're dealing with an energy of like buying a camera <laughs> and you're always on camera, right? Something like that, I don't know. Um, so let's see. So um, from the 21st until the 31st for Aquarius, from the 21st until the 31st, Aquarius, what they got coming up, please. From the 21st to the 31st of October for Aquarius. Bam! Oh, really? <laughs> exactly the same as Capricorn there, too. Are you in the bathroom constantly all the time? I'm in the bathroom, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Some of you could be at Wayne or the name Wayne or Wayne's World, but like uh, going for a scan or a scam or like. What do you do with a number two? Flush it. I feel very flushed at the moment. Some of you are flushing out your system that came through Capricorn reading or slash Gemini of six, because you can also watch this as a Leo energy uh, because of eight. Flushing out my system and drinking lots of water, all of that kind of stuff, looking at juice, looking at health, looking at Justin. Um, just like constantly looking after my health, flushing out my system, or it's something to do with around somebody being a plumber, okay, and having a bathroom fitted, or I'm constantly in the bathroom all of the time, like um, constantly in the bathroom all of the time. <laughs> so uh, I don't know, because the, it's the same message that came up for Capricorn. Um, flushing out my system, right? Or I'm constantly in the bathroom. I'm constantly looking at somebody in the bathroom. <laughs> Fuck knows, bro. Like, unless you're a plumber or a locksmith or something like that. What's your name? Smith. Um, Anderton. Andertons. You could be looking at anything to do with music. Okay, music. Music related stuff. Blah, blah, blah. You might be buying something from Andertons in Guildford. Some of you could be from London. Um, guitars, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Taz, I'm also hearing Taz, Tara, Taz, Tara, Taz, uh, Tasmanian Devil, something to do around a Capricorn possible, placement, um, click for Taz, <laughs> anyway, let's see, uh, Libra, so that's a Libra there, more than likely, but Aquarius, what have they got coming up please, from the 21st? Uh, so I don't know, I keep hearing like TikTok and Twitter and all of those kind of things, like Instagram, on the camera all the time, camera, camera, camera one, camera two, like I bought two cameras or I've got two cameras, like I've got one camera and another camera, or like I've got someone called Cam or Camomile and I've also got someone called Melissa Mel, <laughs> but like um, I'm always at work, um, what are you got going on, I can't get through to your energy. Excuse me. Uh, some of you are in love with your partner. You're with them. The King of Cups just showed up for a lot of you here. Oh, dear. Fucking arguing with the ex. <laughs> it's the same energy that came up through Capricorn or Gemini. It can also be a soul group reading, don't forget, as well. Majority of you are just arguing with your uh, ex-husband and fighting over children and so on and so forth. Or you've got a right problem with somebody that's in here. Okay. Um... But like, yeah, they've gone off their nut. Yeah, it's probably Capricorn energy, maybe. This is the father and the mother of my children and so on and so forth. And that's still an ongoing subject. 
and um, <laughs> like some of you are finding it very difficult in order to concentrate around your work or you just can't really be bothered to do anything anymore it's kind of like investments of money but I don't seem to be getting my money back out of an investment that I'm investing a hell of a lot of time into but I've just got this feeling that I'm not going to get anything back in return for it so I'm kind of getting frustrated and fed up and like getting really bored at being able to keep fucking smashing my head up against a brick wall trying to think of an idea to make it easier and better but it's really not getting any better um, so I don't know it could be anything around social media multimedia it could be just a lack of interest right it means that I've got not so much interest in as much as I used to um, for some of you, like I said, it's having time off work as well can also be the king of pentacles. I'm having some time off. I'm also picking up retirement fund as well, like someone that's retired or retiring or is just very, is general, Jen, Julia, Jason, Justin, Jackie, but is also generally tired a lot as well, like fatigue. This is actually why I'm stopped drinking caffeine, caffeine, uh, because I would drink coffee all morning and then I would go into diet coke, okay, which is still a Spartan. So uh, I am flushing my system out with water presently um, and stopping drinking coffee and caffeine uh, and seeing if that really helps my fatigue around depression and stuff like that. So that's also another kick that I'm on, drinking water. Um, so you could be dealing with Adrian, the name Adrian, who gave me water. Adrian, unless your name's Rocky or Sylvester. Silver, Silver, you're right, Silver, what are you up to? Um, but like Sylvester Stallone, um, anyway, so yeah, some of you, like I said, you're just, I don't know, need some time off work, need to take a break, okay, uh, unless you've got enough money to do that, okay, but for someone could be struggling around the, the ex-relationship, so on and so forth, the ex-husband, <laughs> fighting over the children as usual, okay, um, the usual suspects, all of the people that are all up in the chat, are pissed or stoned um, from the 21st until the 31st. Um, told you the King of Cups was showing his face here, and there it is. So, some of you are inequivocably in love with your partner, or you've got a partner, but you're just always arguing with the ex, but you've got someone in mind. Okay, some of you really are in love, unless you're dealing with a Capricorn. Well, Capricorn Gemini, in their reading, there was multiple personality disorder, or there was a multiple personality of someone dating multiple people at once. Because, well, you'd have to look at the thoughts and feelings that were given, because it was still shitloads of men and women all in it, <laughs> right? Now, that is also what I have called as a John Malkovich moment, or a John, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, of because of the paradox of numbers right you have to watch the videos provided below um, obviously Scorpio Cancer Scorpio Pisces but if it's Pisces it's three if it's Scorpio it's four it's Aries which is there already and so on and so forth Cancerian life path seven here Capricorn Gemini you know but for a lot of you someone's got two men they've turned one down and they want another one because <laughs> i'm hearing well i've got one person but i actually want another one i want to bring them into the bedroom as well someone really loves a lot of bedroom action here i've got one person but i want another one as well um unless it's something to do with their own greed greed gluttony greed po apollo creed apollo paula paula Polly, paula penta uh pisces um Apollo Creed. Uh, let's see. So Aquarius, Aquarius. Unless you're with your partner. If, I mean, if you're with your partner, then this would be upright, right? But this is really for the people that are really fucking fighting with their ex over their children all the time, really. But if you're with a partner, everything's okay. You've just got some time off work, basically. Uh, 21st until the 31st for Aquarius. Uh, Cancerian, there you go. Jesus, man. So you've got some, you're going out shopping with your partner, taking a break off work. If you're in a relationship here, uh, getting on really well, just having some time off work. Work could be very stressful at this time, but, but I'm just really picking up, like taking some time off work and going out traveling. Now, you're like going to see your partner or your children here, 
Yeah, but getting out is really what I'm picking up. Like, I've just got out. So, if someone just got out of prison, I've just got out, okay? I've just got away with it, okay? Or I've just got someone. Like, I've just caught their eye and I've just caught their attention and they're taking me out on a date. Is there a new person here by any chance? Here. By any chance, can you come and pick me up? Is what we're in. So, some of you might pick your partner up. Like, you go and pick them up. A pickup truck. Some of you are looking for a, a van or you've got one. Or unless your name's Haley or Van. Um, let's see. Uh, Aquarius from the 21st until the 31st. The Magician. A new person. A brand new star. Everything's going fucking well. Thank God. Uh, I think some of this is just, well, I mean, like I said, unless you're dealing with a player and you've been dealing with a player, then you know, because that will clarify and tell me later, but at the moment, it's just generally basically telling me that you're having a bit of a problem with your ex, but you've met someone new, or you're still with that present person and everything's going really well. You're having some time off work, you're going out. Uh, very simple. Simple, Simon, Cynthia, Steve, Sarah. Jane, I'm also hearing the name Jane, plain Jane Superbrain. <laughs> Superbrain. Someone uses their brains, thank God. Um, Steve Vi, Steve, um, 21st into the 31st. Leo, <laughs> my girlfriend. Uh, yeah, it's my house. Yeah, some of you are in a very, very strong, long-term committed relationship with your husband or your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend. If you're bitching and moaning in the chat, well, then I can't help that because I won't know until I clarify everything. But as it stands at the moment, this is also an Aquarian, a Leo. You're with your partner. You love them very much. They love you. You're going out, visiting, traveling, going Christmas shopping, all that sort of stuff, making decisions about where to go. If not, and you're constantly working, you're basically just still spending a hell of a lot of time with your partner. Everything is going really well for a lot of you. Some of you, it could be a new person. A magician can always mean a new start and a fresh beginning on my own or with someone, okay? But still feeling generally really good, okay? Because this could also be like love for children and love for kids and stuff and parents. Um, but, pff, bruv. You got a lot of major contenders that are all just flown out straight away. Um, one more card, please. One more card, please, for Aquarius. One more card, please, for Aquarius. From the 21st until the 31st. Four of Cups, Scorpio. <laughs> so that's got to be to do with this. Okay, it has to be to do with this. Um, that would be here, here. So this is the father or the mother of the children that you constantly argue with all the time that's not listening. Now, for some of you, you may well be in denial of the person itself and still have feelings and emotions for them and you're still going around the same cycle constantly all the time. Or the name Michael. But there is something here around not accepting the fact that something is over, but still not being able to get through to the person, still not listening, still not doing anything else, still doing the same thing. So these are going to start to clarify these cards differently, okay, where this might start to take place. Because I'm picking up for some of you, you've got someone kind of new in mind that you could well be talking to or doing something with, okay, but then you've also got someone in your energy that you don't want to talk to, you're not listening to, and so on and so forth. And that's involving these energies here, okay. So you kind of got like this two storyline type sort of thing coming out. Um, because it can also be bored and fed up. Like I'm bored and fed up and frustrated. Keep trying to get through to you to do it. You see? Because this is you also, Aquarius or Leo, right? This is you. And it might be where like you're wanting a new beginning or something from this person that won't accept that from you. And they're not listening and you're not going to get through to them. But you keep manifesting the same cycle constantly over and over again. Hoping that there may be something different that comes up of it without actually changing anything, you know, because you're definitely dealing with, like, Scorpio Aries energies, right? And everything changes but you. So unless you start to change things and work on things, you have to admit that about oneself to be able to look at it and think, yeah, there's something there about me that I know that I really have to look look at, okay? Because it's no good suppressing it. You've got to know certain circumstances. Um, 
but for the general energy here majority of you are in love with this person because it's coming across as two energies it's kind of coming across as some of you that may be single you're sort of like uh, may be interested in someone or know that there's a person there okay but you spend the majority of your time in readings knowing that your ex is involved in it okay okay so does your ex does your ex have like your ex-husband or wife here with children possible do they have the same kind of number like eight even the other person has an eight placement and that that person is in this reading as well because that could end up turning up you know the person is in this reading as well as you now like i said if you're together you are together and everything's going well you've just got external factors but someone's also not accepting a relationship they're not accepting it meaning they this might be a coexistent energy of just sort of like seeing each other now and again and dating but really not giving it all of my you know like all of my attention and focus on to yep this is 100 percent a relationship and there's only me and you in it and that's it and we're committed into a relationship so on and so forth some of you you're not actually doing that like you're not actually doing that but the majority of you here are more than likely already married and with a person in a relationship you've just got two or three different energies you got one where you are definitely more than likely not talking to the ex you've got another one here where you possibly are seeing someone but not actually like really committed yourself into a relationship possible padded cell and then you've also got um where some of you here are actually in a relationship and everything's going well you've just got like external factors that are kind of going on in your life but you're you're spending the majority of your time in this energy here with this person okay is requiring most of your focus here okay knowing that the energy that i'm focusing on is going somewhere that's what i'm focusing on the most because i know it is going somewhere i'm not focusing on things that are really not happening the people that i'm really not talking to that much where i don't seem to be very interested in this project or this person and i'm spending the majority of my time focusing on things that give me that fulfillment back okay because that can also be a project or a thing you know i spend most of my time doing the thing that gives me the most amount of fulfillment and joy okay and because it does that's where i'm spending the majority of my time okay doing that now that really could be with a person because for some reason around this set of four cards i keep picking up that a lot of you actually have got someone new in mind here for some of you Mm -hmm. okay so we're going to leave it at that at the moment so if you want to join you can sorry if they're slightly shorter but they are i'm actually having a day off in uh, today and tomorrow so i've pretty much caught up so uh if you want to join you can the full access bundle obviously gives you a load more really so we're going to clarify all the cards and see what the story turns up as and then we're also going to look at what it is that your partner thinks and feels about you or it will come up around the majority of the arguments and stuff like that that might be caused what they think if they feel about you what they're going through if this is the ex or so what they're thinking what they're feeling what they're going through and how that compares to you and what their plans are and stuff everyone is different it depending on what star sign i do it for but we look into those kind of things as well for you okay and that will be on the full access bundle only and you can find that link provided below uh, you can also find for personal readings all that sort of stuff and then after this we'll do the monthlies Okay, all right guys, thanks very much and uh, I'll see you soon.